Yo, what is good people, it's Photobit here. Today I wanted to show you how to make beats without any hardware except your computer and if you want, you can use your headphones. If you want to get some VST plugins, you can check out my affiliate link in the description down below. Uh, by buying plugins through this link, you are supporting the channel uh, without any extra cost to you. I'm on the other side of the country today, so this is a really good occasion to shoot a video like this. So, let's begin. So here is my beat making uh, template made in Reaper. Uh, the only thing I have, as I mentioned, is my computer. So as you can probably already assume, I'm going to use my uh, regular computer keyboard as my MIDI controller. And how do you do it? It's pretty much simple. Uh, just set the MIDI input of a particular track uh, to all MIDI inputs or to virtual MIDI keyboard, which is a virtual keyboard which is built in into Reaper. I'm staying on all MIDI inputs because the virtual keyboard is going to be my only input today. Next, make sure your track is um, art for recording and uh, that the record monitoring is turned on. And here is what you have to do. Hold the Alt key and press B. And right now you should be seeing the MIDI keyboard, which I have right here. And as you click on any of those keys, you should hear the instrument uh, that is uh, on this particular track. And right now, as this MIDI keyboard uh, is turned on, I can use my regular keyboard. It doesn't matter if you have um, any shortcuts assigned uh, to your keyboard, right now they don't work. So if I press V, it's playing normally. But if I click anything else in Reaper, for example this empty space right here, the keyboard stops working and uh, the normal Reaper functionalities um, work again. So you have to click on the keyboard to use it, to make it active. So let's make a quick drum loop and see if uh, you can actually make a beat like this. As you can see, recording a drum loop is not a big issue. Of course, it's not the most comfortable method. Having a simple drum controller like an Akai MPD I'm using uh, for most of the times uh, would be much simpler. But if you don't have anything, you just have your computer and you are desperate to make beats, you can use it. It's always there. And now let's try to make a simple melody uh, which we will play on the keyboard. Let's just use Xband because uh, it's the most lightweight plugin I have here and I'm on my battery so it's important. So actually we have two keyboards right here. Uh, the first one is here starting from Z and from A and the second one is here starting from Q and from 1. So here is a lower octave and here is a higher octave as well as the black keys. And here you have the center note so you can change the whole keyboard layout. So for example I want this to be C4. So now everything is an octave lower. So, that was pretty much it. I hope this helps you make um, some beats uh, from outside your usual place and from outside of your comfort zone, because uh, from what I've seen in my case, uh, making beats um, outside the studio can bring some um, pretty funny results, actually. And the factor of sitting uh, in a public place, in this case, for example, when I have people around me, actually, <laughs> brings um, a much different feeling to the whole beat making process, where uh, I'm more focused uh, towards creating rather than browsing through sounds and stuff. You know, I just want to be perceived like I'm doing something here. I'm not just clicking and looking for a good snare, you know. <laughs> okay, so that was it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel with all the notifications. My name is Dominic. You've been watching Vozo Beats and keep the good vibes alive.